Hey guys, Technical Show with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your phone if your auto rotate is not working for your iPhone apps or just, just not working at all. How can you fix it? So let's get started. So auto rotate works for certain apps that have auto ro rotate. For example, if you go to Safari, you open it up and you see you can auto rotate automatically if you have this feature on. You also see it similarly with notes. You, you'll see that if we turn it around, it will auto rotate for us. Now, this feature is possible by having this lock off. So in your control center, if you pull down, you'll see here there's a lock option for it to be locked so it doesn't auto rotate. You have to have this turned off first of all to, for it to work. Now, if you have this turned off and it's not working, let's say you're playing a video or you're just browsing and you want that auto rotate or, mode on so how can you fix it so of course check the settings to make sure that is off after you have checked that and it's not working the next thing you want to also check is that if the app is actually possibly able to do auto rotate certain apps if you try to open it up it will not do auto rotate it's just because it's not allowed so in those cases you won't be able to kind of auto rotate you'll see that some of the limitation of the app comes in play but if you know app app is supposed to auto rotate the next thing you can do is go ahead and see if it's open go ahead and just simply swipe up and close it so you want to just close it out and that does a quick a restart so when you open it up next time it's just reloading it again if there was any issues rotating before now it should auto rotate for you now after you have done that and you're still not working the next thing you can do is a force restart so to do a force restart you're going to press the volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button on your right hand side once you do that you're going to wait till the screen goes completely black just like that just keep on waiting till it goes black and you'll see the apple logo reappear at that time we're going to let go of that button so i'm just waiting for it to go completely black and i let go of that button again it's volume up and down one after another really quick you're going to press and release and then hold that side button on the right hand side and what this does is going to reload the code gives it a nice fresh uh, reboot generally you need to do that if you're having any sort of minor software issue and most of the time it resolves it this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps or anything like that all it just is gives the phone nice fresh reboot now after you've done that hopefully auto rotate is working for you and the app you're trying to do auto rotate now if it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go into your settings and this time in display and brightness you want to make sure for this one you want to also kind of take a look at the zoom display here as you can see here if you click on display zoom you want the default one here you don't want things like large text because sometimes that can mess with your zoom display so if it's on large text you want to make sure it's on default and then hit that done option so that's you know make sure that it's not on for us so that's really and important to check as well the other thing you also want to do is go into accessibility right so if you look in your phone you'll see the accessibility option and then over here you'll see zoom here you want to make sure that zoom is off here as well sometimes if it's zoomed in with the bigger screen the rotate will not work for you so you want to make sure that setting is off as well now after you have done that and it's still not working the next thing you can pretty much do is go ahead and update the software of your phone and to do that you're going to be in settings general software update and you're going to look to see if there's a latest update out sometimes a previous update might have broken the functionality of your phone so you want to make sure if there's an update out download and install it keep in mind that this could take between 30 minutes to 45 minutes even longer depending on how big the file download is and the installation time while you do that you want to make sure you have a good wi-fi or sell your data connection to the internet and your phone is at least 50% or more so you can successfully do the download and installation of the latest software version. Now after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing you want to do is, again in the settings, this time you want to go to general and then scroll all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone and then first option for reset and it gives you a bunch of options for reset and the one that we want to do is the very first one. We said reset all settings but before you do that you have to understand what this does this will can you go ahead and do a reset of things like default settings for your network things like why saved wi-fi password bpn settings things around uh, resetting your keyboard dictionary if you added certain key words to it things like home screen layout if you lay have a custom layout it's going to reset it back to original how it was and then it's going to reset any sort of uh location or privacy setting you have set up again these settings are just only settings it will not delete your personal data like photos videos 
apps or any kind of thing, anything that's personal, documents, and things like that, it will not delete. All it's doing is resetting all the settings back to default so that if you had any issues with the setting somewhere, or setting got missed or toggled on and off, impacting your auto rotate it will hopefully reset that when you do this reset it's going to take generally two to three minutes but it should be pretty quick after you've done that hopefully it resolves that issue and that's it for you know all the troubleshooting you can do pretty much when it comes to auto rotate to fix on your iphone hopefully you guys found this video helpful and one of these solutions helped you if so please make sure the like and subscribe button also if you found a better way to fix the auto rotate option on your iphone do let us know thanks for watching guys see you guys next time